readings from my office at the Beach Hut, I thought I'd jump on and do a sample Sunday. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm going to talk about a few things. One thing I'm going to talk about is pumpkin mass. Another thing I'm going to talk about are some products from Lily Organics. And the third thing I'm going to talk about are some products from Celtic Complexion. So one, two, three. That's my preview. Let's get started. I'm going to start with pumpkin mask. I tried a pumpkin facial mask from Rainwater Botanicals. I've heard a lot of good things about Rainwater Botanicals. This is the only product I've tried by them thus far, and it's a no. First of all, there's phenoxyethanol in it, so I don't like that. Secondly, it dries me out. Now, I'm going to say something about pumpkin masks because I, in fact, had tried three and had the same result with all of them. This is how it looked. Smell is not wonderful, but not objectionable. But in all cases, the pumpkin mass dried me out. Interesting, because pumpkin is loaded with vitamin A. But I'm noticing, too, that it needs to be preserved. So this one has Fenny. The other one I tried by Pureceuticals. This is Pureceuticals Multi-Enzyme Pumpkin Peel, one I got in a kit. Also has phenoxyethanol. The third one I don't have to show you anymore. It's by Pink Papaya. It was the pumpkin and goji berry mask, and that one actually turned on me, so I pitched it. It was in a big tub. I used it several times, always with the same result, which is dry, dry, dry. So I think it might be a better treatment for someone with oily skin, and what I would recommend is that the next time you make a pumpkin and pie or something, you know, I always make pumpkin custards, and I always have a little bit of pumpkin left over and never quite know what to do with it. You know, I put it in the refrigerator and then end up throwing it out a little while later if I don't make pumpkin muffins or something like that. But it might be something you could mix in with some dry powder, say some face food from the all-natural face. You might want to try using pumpkin that way. It Again, it is rich in vitamin A. I don't think I'd recommend it for dry skin because I've tried three pumpkin masks by three different places. All of them were preserved with phenoxyethanol, strike one, dried my skin out, strike two. In short, I didn't receive any benefit, and in fact, it did my skin worse than I had to go about a routine of trying to get it resuscitated from the pumpkin treatment. So, like the idea of pumpkin, didn't like the results. On to the second category, Lily Farm Fresh, which is www.lilyorganics.com, although you can get it in other places. I think Vitacost has it. You can get it from online places. They contacted me and said, we'd like to send you some products to try. I love the idea of this company. Since 1986, they grow their own ingredients. They source their own ingredients. What a fantastic idea. It just kind of cuts out any of that, hmm, what is this source ingredient like? I tried two products by them. I chose these products. They sent them to me. Rejuvenating Enzyme Mask. It's a honey product. And then the Lily Moisture Mist. Let me start with the mist. Liked it. Like what it does for my skin don't like the scent of it. There is an ingredient, an herb, a flower, a something in the natural world. It has a spicy scent, I would say, so I had a hard time getting over the scent of it. But in terms of the product itself, liked what it did for my skin, comes out in a really fine mist, and of course I can always use a mist. Would I repurchase? Not sure. If I got it at the right price, I probably would and just get over the scent. The other product that I used was the Rejuvenating Enzyme Mask. I used this in three different ways. This looks like honey. It just looks like refined honey, but it is actually honey plus. It has papaya, other things in it. So it's honey that's been enriched, but it looks and smells just like a regular honey you would get at the store. Not even a raw honey, just a honey you might buy at the store. At any rate, used it in three ways. First of all, used it as directed. There you go, there's an idea. As an enzyme mask. You put it on, you leave it on for 25 minutes. The good news is you can use it daily. The bad news is you probably wouldn't have 25 minutes to use it daily. As an enzyme mask, I think it works fairly well. It's mild, so you're not going to see extreme results, but it is gentle and your skin does feel good when you're done with it. The other way I used this was as a cleanser, and I would mix in some face food from the All Natural Face or my favorite, which is Brand New Day by One Love Organic. I put that combination on damp skin. I left it for maybe 10 minutes, 
and then would clarisonic it off. Yeah, I just use clarisonic as a verb. That's kind of strange. Take it off with my clarisonic. And I liked using it that way. I like it. Do I like it as well as the Shea Terra Honey and Argan Oil? I'm not sure. I would probably follow price points. If this came in at a good price point, and I compared it to the Shea Terra, I always get the Shea Terra the 30% off. If this came in lower, I would definitely get it because I enjoyed using it. The third way I used it is less exciting, which is I just used it as a cleanser on its own. I put it on, I left it, you know, 10 minutes, took it off. Best ways, I liked it. I liked leaving it on for 25 minutes. That's the way it's designed to be used. I enjoyed that. Good news is it works. It's nice. Bad news is 25 minutes of something sticky on your face, and you're probably not going to do it every day. However, used as a cleanser with some sort of face food, gentle exfoliant, this works quite nicely. So again, I would watch the price point on these and kind of put it head to head with my Argan and Honey from Shea Terra. Pick up one or the other of those. So yeah, I was pleased with that. Last thing I'm going to talk about are some products from Celtic Complexion. First of all, I'm a huge fan of the Celtic Complexion Cream. I'm like a convert. I'm messianic about it. I'm absolutely crazy for it. It will always have a place in my kit. I just love it. And it made such a tremendous difference last winter with my skin. I'm using it less often now with the heat and the humidity. But in the winter, holy cow, love Celtic Complexion Cream. And even in the summer, it has a spot for me. I just use it maybe two or three times a week on my face and my neck area. Sometime back I picked up a travel kit and as part of that travel kit Jennifer includes this tinted moisturizer SPF 22. I tried it, I didn't like it, I tried it again, I didn't like it. This is orange on me. So sad to say that although I love the Celtic Complexion Cream, I'm just not a fan of this tinted moisturizer. It goes on me orange, and as the day goes on, it becomes even more orange. So, yeah, sorry, Jennifer, this one didn't work for me. And in fact, I wish the travel kit didn't have it in it, because then I'd be more likely to pick up more of the travel kits, but I keep going, ooh, I'll get that tinted moisturizer, and I don't want it. Maybe I'll just write her and ask her if she'll swap it out for something different. Celtic Complexion Cream Coconut Cream Cleanser. Got this when she had her two-for-one sale. I keep it in the refrigerator. I like the way it feels. You know, it's a coconut oil-based cleanser. As a cleanser, I have to double cleanse with it. What I like this for is makeup removing. I can remove eye makeup with it, face makeup with it, but then I do follow it with something like a honey cleanser. However, as a makeup remover, I'm quite fond of this and so probably will continue to purchase it. Right now, I still have the two tubs. You can see I've just used a tiny amount, and then I've got to get rid of some other product and finish it up before I go back to this. So it's being stored in my refrigerator. One of the things that comes in the travel kit is the Youth Infusion High Potency Serum. Like it. This I bought when she had the two-for-one sale. I got two of these. And this one I enjoyed. It smells like the Shea Terra Night Serum but it's not as thick, it's lighter. Don't like the scent of it, like what it does for my skin, so I am a fan of the Youth Infusion High Potency Serum. It is not inexpensive, but it lasts a long time. It's, as all serums, they kind of go and go and go. You don't use a lot of them at any given time. So I do enjoy the Youth Infusion High Potency Serum. In some from Celtic Complexion, you know I love the Celtic Complexion Cream, so yay, two thumbs up. Youth Infusion 7 High Potency Serum is a yes. I will keep that one on hand. Coconut Cream Cleanser is yes for makeup removal only. I'll still use another product over it. And will I use this exclusively to take off makeup? I'm not sure. There's also an exfoliant that goes with this and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. It's in my refrigerator. Sunscreen, Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 22. No. That is a no-no-no. From Lily Farm Fresh, Lily Organics, liked the rejuvenating enzyme mask. We'll keep my eye on that one. And just go back and forth between the Shea Terra Argan and Honey Cleanser, which I really like, and then this. This does have that kind of masky quality to it, which I like. Lily Moisture Mist, 
mm, has to be at a really good price for me because of the scent. Don't like the scent, but I love my moisture mist, and as a moisture mist, it works. And lastly, to sum up, pumpkin, no. I am going to try fresh pumpkin or canned pumpkin. Next time I make a pumpkin custard and I have that leftover pumpkin, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can DIY a little facial mask and see if I have any better luck with pumpkin used in that form. So in terms of the great pumpkin treatments, the jury is still out. Maybe this fall in pumpkin season, I'll do a mask and do a follow-up and try to determine, is it the products or is it the ingredient pumpkin that dries me out? That concludes my sample Sunday. Let me talk just a little bit about my Shadow of the Week. For Shadow of the Week, I am playing around with my Geek Chic Cosmetics Orange Collection, just the day look. That would be Lucky Dragon, Voice of the Still, and Son of All. I have been using that. That's a rather neutral palette. That's what's in the highlight. That's what's in the crease. That's what's in this outer area here. I wanted to pop it with a little bit of color. Today it has on the pumpkin and poppy watermelon with laranine scale of the dragon used as a liner. Every day I just kind of pop that basic orange look with something else. A lot of other people would just use the day look and that would be enough, but you know me, I like a little color. I've also been playing around with my Rituals blush, which is in Peach Glow, and in fact, went to Sephora to pick up a beauty blender for a friend. She said, what should I use to do my liquid makeup? She was dissatisfied with it. So I picked up a couple of brushes from Sedona Lace Sale that I'm going give to give to her, but I also wanted to get a beauty blender and see how she enjoyed that. Went to the Sephora here. It's in the JCPenney's. They did not have the beauty blender, but of course, you know, you can't walk out empty-handed. So I saw one of those little NARS. Laguna and Orgasm blushes and I picked it up and I used it for a day and I brought it back. I didn't like it. I'm the only person on the planet who doesn't like Orgasm. So no Norse Orgasm or Laguna for me and you know I think I would prefer anyway to go ahead and support my indie companies or my smaller companies, natural, organic, cruelty free, etc. Rituals. I also was playing around with the eyeshadows that I got from Ritual. So I was playing around with my kind of new things, but mixing in my older pumpkin and poppy, although the one I have on the lid is from the summer collection. I used a bit of my last year's Glamour Doll Eyes Summer Girls collection, love that, as well as a collection from Pumpkin and Poppy that's no longer available, which was the Moulin Rouge collection. I can't remember what it was called. I think it might have been called Spectacular Spectacular, and there are some Spectacular Spectacular shades in that. That has kind of been my week playing in my makeup and skincare drawer. Obviously, the skincare has been more than a week. It takes me a long time to get through something like this or something like this. I've had them for quite some time. You can probably see from the postman cometh when I pick those up. Okay, nattered on long enough. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're up to and make it a great, great day. Bye.